seven straight road wins, 3-0 and in California. I'll take it. Leafs win 5-1. 5-1 against Anaheim Ducks. They take LA, they take San Jose, and now they take Anaheim. Uh, and I love it because, oh God, I hate those orange jerseys. I really do. I don't like the look. So I'll win. I'll take it. I will take a win. Um, it was an interesting game. It was an interesting game. Uh, was it a 5-1 win. No, no, it was closer than that. Um, was I worried at times? Yes, but Leafs got goal support and goal support makes you breathe a little bit easier. Your heart doesn't beat as fast. I'm glad they had that 3-0 lead. I'm glad because Anaheim really poured it on. Uh, speaking of the Ducks, before we get into the game, this team, they're young, not some young players, um, they're fast at times, and they really go for it. Uh, they're a run and gun. They tried to get the Leafs to get into that uh, mode, um, but Toronto, for the most part, was able to stay in their lane, play that playoff-style hockey that they're looking for and they have been playing, and it worked. It worked when they needed to score, and uh, yeah, they, they, they held their own, and thank you. Again, Jack Campbell and the Leafs goaltending. Um, Anaheim's doing, doing well still. They, they've lost their first game. I think they're on, what, a four-game win streak maybe? Maybe not. Uh, that might have been another team. That might have been L.A. Oh, California. It's been tiring. Anyway, um, what are they? They're 6-4 and four in the last 10 now. Uh, they're third in their division in the Pacific, 11-8-3. You know, they're still doing really, really well. But they can't beat the Leafs. So let's get right into the game, shall we? Um, first period, I'm going to say it was Ducks right off the hop. They really went for it. Um, last game against San Jose, I felt San Jose off the hop for the first 28 seconds or so. Really went uh, and gave it to Toronto. And then, you know, a blink of the eye and Nylander gets breakaway. Here, Anaheim. Anaheim looked like the better team in the first five, six minutes of the, of the period. Um, they, they doubled up the Leafs in shots. The, the shots ended up close by the end of the first. Um, but the Leafs, you know, they got back into it. They, they waded their way into the game. Uh, no goals in the first period. Second period, um, Austin Matthews, Michael Bunting, Mitch Marner. Uh, they go in, Bunting and Matthews. Matthews opens up, it's a two-on-one. Bunting holds, shoots, nice save by Gibson. Comes around, Mitch Marner's to it first. Uh, all ducks are back. He fires it to Bunting, somehow gets through. So Bunting shooting, he goes back to Brody. Austin Matthews, he's massive, isn't he? 6'3", 6'4", 220 pounds probably. He gets body position on a young Jamie Drysdale. Tips in the shot just over Gibson's shoulder. Gibson's glove. He saw the puck the whole way. It caught him. There we go. one nothing. Austin Matthews scores. Gets his 10th of the year. Uh, and that makes him tied with John Tavares, I believe, for goals for the Leafs. And then three and a half minutes later, they're at it again. Um, and it's Mitch Marner with a beautiful sauce. I believe it was Austin Matthews drove. It was like the high, wide, and drive. Um, he drove sauce over to Michael Bunting. Uh, all by himself, wide open net, goal, and that makes it 2 nothing. Great breakout pass by Jake Muzzin. He's done a few of those this year. Um, and that's how the, the second period ends. Uh, Campbell makes a few saves. Gibbs makes a few saves there. Um, there was spurts for each team. Third period, 13 seconds in, uh, gets slapped with a gaudy turnover. And as far as getting the puck to Nylander, Nylander to Kerfoot all by himself. He goes over the glove to make it 3 nothing, Leafs. Um, then Anaheim begins to pour it on around like the six-minute mark. Uh, Hampus Lindholm is crashing and banging in front of the Leafs net, not his own. Uh, we all don't know. Lindholm is a defenseman. Um, 
And he ends up getting his second of the year. Ryan gets off at the point, throws one on. Lindholm's there. Uh, Campbell at a position. Sometimes he can be at a position. He does. Then he makes some miraculous saves, a la Curtis Joseph. Uh, just not as, what would you call it, crazy <laughs> um, in net. Uh, but his left pad isn't down. Lindholm puts it in, makes it 3-1. And then that's when things change. The Ducks ramp it up and the Leafs are in panic mode. And this sparks the Ducks. Uh, they go into another gear. It's like they have jet packs on their backs. They're beating every Leaf to the puck. They're winning board battles. They're getting it out with ease. And the Leafs are struggling. And good thing for Jack Campbell. And they basically play, I would say, like... Uh, you know, Chelsea in football in the Premier League back in the day was like Didier Drogba where, you know, they get a lead and then they just sit back. Literally everyone's back. They're blocking every single lane. That's what the Leafs did. Scramble, try to get it out. Oh no, they don't get it out. Scramble, get it out again. Dump it. And that's what they did. That's what they did. Um, and then, you know, of course the Leafs get some chances. I think Matthew's got one in there, a few others. Um, and then the Ducks pull their net early, like Four minutes left in the game, three and a half, pull their goalie. Um, Leafs managed to get it out. It's William Nylander with a good little move around, I don't even know which duck it was. And then it's just um, the other duck defender, I'm assuming, comes over. It might have been Shattenkirk, I'm not really sure. Comes over to take him. He just feeds it over to Kerfoot. Kerfoot being unselfish, pass it right back to Nylander. Nylander scores, empty netter at 16.53 and it's 4-1 Leafs. Um, so there was panic there. There was, but the Leafs maintain their composure, even though it almost got away with, you know, from them. Good thing for those extra goals. Um, and then the Ducks just deflate mightily. Leafs fourth line goes out. Um, and Wayne Simmons gets basically a gift all by himself. You know, there's a defensive blunder off the draw, and there's... Wayne trained to just score. Gibson's upset. Um, and that's how the game ends. Leafs win 5-1 in a not 5-1 game. Um, my takeaways from it. Uh, Kyle Clifford. Okay, you were there, but I didn't really notice you at all. Unless, well, all I noticed is that you were wearing 43, which was Nazem Kadri's before. And I seen him lay, what, one hit maybe? Um, what this means to me is... I miss Andre Kasha and you know, what he brings to the third line. Um, I would take Richie on the fourth line. I'll take Engvall on the fourth line. Um, but I really do miss Andre Kasha, his energy, what he brings to the team, even with the Leafs winning. You really appreciate a guy like that, and I want him back. Uh, Travis Dermott was in tonight. Uh, Lilligren was out. Dermott's first game in five, I believe. Um, he looked good. He looked fine. Uh, yeah. Leafs. So that was my thoughts on the game. Let me know down below what you thought. How do you feel the Leafs did on this road trip? How do you feel the Leafs did against all three California teams? Each individually, LA, San Jose. If not, go back to my other videos. Check that out. Um, but comment down below on the Ducks. What do you think of them? How do you think the Leafs did against them? Um, one thing that I did take away from this is... The battle of USA goalies. Gibson, likely the number two behind Hellebuck. And Campbell, where his name is in consideration for Team USA. And Campbell outplayed Gibson. Because Campbell outplays basically everyone he plays against. Even uh, the loss against Price, uh, Montreal. Technically, if you go by stats, Campbell outplayed him. Uh, do I think Price made bigger, big time saves? Yeah, sure. But... Campbell's been out playing goalies, and Hellebuck is guaranteed to be the starter. He has to be. Would you put Jack Campbell on the team? Let me know down below. Um, going on this Leafs road trip, they obviously they got their butt speed against uh, Pittsburgh nine road games ago. Then they lose to Carolina. And now they're on a seven-game win streak on the road. Seven and three away. They're nine, three and one at home. And it'll be like, oh no, they're going back to uh, to Toronto. They're nine, three and one. Um, so they're on a four game win streak. Uh, nine and one in the last 10. They are now first in their division. 
uh, tied for first in the Eastern Conference with Washington Capitals. They are 16-6-1, and, and ah, damn, it's good to win, isn't it? It is good to win. So next up, Colorado Avalanche and Nathan McKinnon. Uh, that's at home. And then they go back on the road where they play the Minnesota Wild and Winnipeg Jets, I believe, in a Saturday-Sunday game. Leafs don't play again till Wednesday. Bit, bit of a break. Because this, this road trip has been exhausting. Leafs deserve some rest, as do you. Go Leafs, go. 